Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Leo. Leo, this is going to be your second reading, okay? Um, when I got done with the first reading, it was put on me to do another one, okay? So, you guys know how I am. I do what Spirit tells me to do. So, where I'm doing another this is what your spirit guides want you to know reading, okay? So, and there's nothing wrong with the other one. It's just, I was told to do it again, okay? All right. And remember, this is timeless, so whenever you do see these uh, spirit guide messages, just know that that's when it's meant for you to view them and, and hear the messages, okay? All right. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> I love it. You got the lion, and that represents you, Leo. Higher calling. Very nice. Okay. Leo. This is what your spirit guides want you to know. All right. We've got dreams. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit Guides. Messages do you have for Leo? We have Otter Spirit. We have Daydream. All right. <laughs> All right, Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is what your spirit guides want you to know right now, okay? All right. Got the Two of Cups. We've got the Moon. We have the Seven of Swords. And I'm going to tell you something. This one flipped over when I was shuffling. All right. So it, it made an appearance again. So this is very significant. Okay. And then we have the Three of Wands. All right. All right, Leo, let's start here. Lion, higher calling. You have within you all the courage you need. Let go of the past and reclaim your majesty. You will find success and contentment with those by your side. Make noble choices for your life and your tribe. Beautiful. You know, with this coming up here, I feel like you guys are definitely, you know, connecting to a higher level of consciousness here, especially with the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is that energy, you know, you becoming one with your higher self and with spirit, okay? You know, there is definitely a connection here, okay? Definitely receiving downloads at this time. Some of you are thinking about going and being a spiritual teacher or leader, all right? I feel like some of you have recently been through the dark night of the soul, and, you know, you are coming out the other end here. You, you know, you're coming out the light at the end of the tunnel, Leo. A stronger, wiser, okay? Leo than you were when you begun and there's been so much growth spiritual growth that has taken place you're a mentor 
your energy is off the charts, okay? Your vibration, your frequency, you know, people can feel it. They're attracted to your energy. You know, and Spirit is saying, be courageous. Go after what it is that you want, okay? Spirit's got your back. Remember that. Now you have dreams. Believe in your dreams. And what I love about this is the moon, the energy of Pisces, is underneath it. <laughs> so most definitely, you guys, pay attention to your dreams, signs, symbolism, and synchronicities. You guys are receiving downloads while you sleep. Some of you could be lucid dreaming. But, you know, there's an energy here where you need to believe in your dreams, okay? You need to believe in the vision that you have. You need to believe that you are going to manifest it into your reality, okay? You need to believe that it's within reach. It's achievable. It's doable. You can have it. I don't feel like anything is hidden from you at this time, okay? I feel like Spirit is letting you know right here that you are being guided in your dream state, okay? Um... This could be where visions are taking place, all right? The seeds are being planted in your subconscious, and when you wake up, you have that aha moment, that idea that's amazing. And you're like, I don't know where that came from, but this is a great idea. This is what I want to do. Well, I tell you where it came from. It came from spirit, all right? It came from your guides. And spirit just wants you to know that you are protected. You are divinely guided, okay? Those of you that are astral projecting, I feel like you're receiving some type of communication or some type of answers, okay, in that state. Very interesting. Very interesting. All right. Okay, so we have the otter spirit. You are never alone, all right? Even, you know, this is going to be for those of you that feel... Like, you know, you could be in a room with a hundred people and you could still feel like you're alone, okay? Um, I feel like this has a lot to do with your spiritual path, your journey, okay? People don't understand you. They don't understand where you're coming from. And yes, it can be very lonely. But just know that your guides, your angels, and spirit never leaves your side, okay? They're right there with you. And it's important that you know this. A powerful energy right here and then you have the seven of swords coming up here underneath it you know I feel like you guys are making a plan okay I feel like you are definitely spending a lot of time researching maybe you went back to school maybe you started some classes you're really you know, you are definitely all involved in, number one, in you. And I feel like it's not leaving you much time, uh, free time, play time. And it's going to be important that you get that play time, okay? You know, all work and no play is not good. You want balance between the both. Now, I definitely feel like right here for some of you, okay, There's a need for you to pay attention to a contract. That's what's coming through from my guides. There is a contract. It's very important. And you need to make sure that you understand it before you sign it. Okay? Read it very carefully. Especially the fine print, you guys. Because, you know, that's where they put the, the stuff in there that they think people don't read. <laughs> you know, but I feel like... I'm seeing paperwork in my mind's eye, okay? Paperwork. This could be a letter. This could be, for, for some of you, maybe getting a letter saying you, you um, were accepted maybe into a college or a trade school, okay? Daydream. You will more easily hear and receive our messages if you daydream regularly. Relax and open your mind to receiving without directing your thoughts. 
Just notice any feelings, visions, or ideas as if you were watching a movie. This is the seat of creativity. I love it. I feel like you guys are already doing this, okay? Um, definitely no problems there. Um, with the Three of Wands coming up here, I feel like you've already done this. And you've already been nurturing a, a dream, a vision, okay? You put a lot of time and effort into it. And I feel like with the Three of Wands coming up here, you guys, that this seed, this dream, this vision you have been taking care of, it's fixing to expand and grow, okay? Um, what you put in is going to come back threefold. That's what I'm getting right here. And I feel like for many of you, you're already aware of this. You have foresight at this time. Uh, you see clearly, okay? You know, oftentimes, you guys, this talks about what you've been waiting on to materialize, okay? Um, you know, you could be getting impatient, and I don't get that with this energy. What I'm getting here is what you've been waiting on, it's coming, okay? You are going to receive it. And it has to do with the vision, okay? It has to do with something that you're passionate about, something that you've been putting a lot of time and effort into. All right, Leo. All right, I love you guys. Please leave me a comment. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation, okay? Evidently, there was something somebody needed to hear in one or the other. Uh, well, I figure it's more of this one. Uh... But Spirit told me to upload the first one as well. So there's something here that somebody needs to hear. So please let me know who you are and what, you know, exactly what it, what it is that you're connecting with right here. Okay, Leo? All right. I love you guys. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, Leo.